Authorities have acknowledged that most sanitation infrastructure in Lusaka does not meet the required standard, hence posing a health hazard to the people. According to statistics, Lusaka has a population of up to 2.5 million people, which likely goes up during the daily activities as people from other areas conduct their businesses within Lusaka. The fecal matter that are discharged into the substandard pit latrines and septic tanks lack necessary treatment due to missing treatment chambers, resulting into contamination of affluent, hence the need for stakeholders to ensure that relevant measures are followed in a bid to promote sanitation within the city. More in the following report. Well-designed and engineered infrastructure plays a critical role in beautifying the city and consequently encouraging citizens to be productive. Among such infrastructure that requires utmost attention in communities include social amenities-related structures that are often used by the majority, such as toilets. Lusaka, the capital city of Zambia, is not spared with challenges of toilets that once contributed to the outbreak of cholera due to the contamination of groundwater in 2017. Most houses in Lusaka's peri-urban areas have pit latrines, often poorly engineered, hence affecting underground water. This journalist took time to talk to Imelda Banda, a Lusaka-based mother, who explained how difficult it is to take care of latrines. She observes that most vulnerable families tend to construct pit latrines due to budget constraints. Owing to the magnitude of danger, pit latrines and substandard septic tanks pose to human health, the Lusaka City Council partnered with other stakeholders to find lasting solutions. Ed Gamrwandi is Lusaka City Council Public Health Director. The, the council is developing a bylaw on on-site sanitation. This is a bylaw which will help regulate issues to do with toilets in the city. As you are aware that uh, there are quite a number of uh, areas where you find uh, toilets which are not really uh, well regulated. In an effort to improve toilets infrastructure in peri-urban areas, the Lusaka Water and Storage Company, whose mandate has been extended also to look at sanitation issues, is to construct 7,000 toilets in three areas, namely Chawama, Kanyama, and George Compound under the Lusaka Sanitation Program. Lusaka Water and Storage Company on-site sanitation specialist Mwasa Nachula explains. To ensure that as we move towards improving and also having these facilities in Lusaka Water and Storage, the communities as well as the local existing structures in the communities are empowered. Households are expected to pay at various Lusaka water surface points in the areas where we are constructing facilities and uh, the contractors are coming from these communities to ensure that the youth as well as those that are able to have the skill to construct facilities are empowered. And Zambia Bureau of Standards Executive Director Manuel Mutare gave his perspective on what they are doing to promote hygiene in the city. You know, there's a difference between you know, the bottled water and the portable water. The portable water is the one that runs in our pipes. So for that, we've got a national standards, which is ZS190. And NUASCO uses that standard to be able to check the quality of water that goes into the... Now, in as far as the sanitation is concerned, there has been a gap. You know, we've got sewerage services which are reticulated and connected to main lines, but we've also got what we call on-site sanitation, you know, where you've got all these uh, septic tanks. So what has come up now that there's that recognition that, you know, there is a gap in as far as this area is concerned. So Zambia Bureau of Standards is working with NUASCO and, you know, under the ministry to make sure that now we come up with some on-site standards. Successful interventions by stakeholders will lead to 20,000 people in the city to have access to improved on-site sanitation facilities. Godenia Lenga, 5FM News, Lusaka. 5